let us discuss the properties of the production possibility curve. The first property of the production possibility curve is that PPC is a downward sloping curve. Let us further understand this. Why is PPC a downward sloping curve? Why is it always required to slope downwards from left to right? Why not from some other direction? Why not right to left? So the answer to this question is pretty simple. Every single time you are required to increase the production of good X, every single time you want to have further units of good X produced, you are required to sacrifice certain units of good Y. So this means every single time you are looking to produce more of good X, you are required to decline production of Y. And more of Y was being sacrificed to produce the same amount of good X. So that is the reason why PPC slopes downwards. Please try and understand here that we are not telling you the reason why is PPC a concave shaped curve. That is a different question altogether. Over here we are simply trying to understand why is PPC sloping downwards. It is simple, it's a relationship, it's a negative relationship. Every single time X is, X is to increase, Y has to decrease. Moving on, the second property of the production possibility curve is PPC is concave shaped curve. That is PPC slope which we know is MOC is increasing and since MOC is increasing that makes the PPC concave shaped because had it not been concave shaped PPC wouldn't look like this PPC would look much different right so the second property that you need to remember is PPC is concave shaped that shows that every single time you are sacrificing good Y to produce good X more of good Y was being sacrificed, which was also understood in the marginal opportunity cost illustrations that we had taken in past, wherein you got to know that MOC was always increasing. So this is pretty much clear and simple. Now, another very important question is, why does MOC increase? Why do we always say that it is increasing? This has been discussed in the previous video, but since it is very important, I'm going to go through it once more. The simplest reason why does MOC increase is because of the resources. Resources are not equally efficient in production of all the products. Thus, when resources are transferred from production of one good to another, MOC is bound to increase. For better reference, you can watch our previous video on this topic and it will be clear to you. Now, as I told you that if MOC was not to increase, but to decrease or to remain constant, then what would be the shape of PPC look like? Let us understand that. So case one is if MOC increases, which we have discussed today, then your PPC curve would be a concave shaped curve. Remember, this is concave, right? So if MOC is to increase your PPC, would be a concave shaped curve. If your MOC is to decrease, if it is to decline, then this is how your PPC would look like. Over here, your PPC curve is convex and it can only look convex if your MOC is to decrease. Can PPC be a straight line also? The answer is yes. It can be a straight line. PPC can be a straight line. But for that, your MOC has to be constant. So, if your MOC has to be constant, then your PPC would be a straight line, which would, of course, be falling. Over here, this is not decreases. This is constant. Please mind that. If MOC is constant, then your PPC is a straight line. Five, six, seven. Mm -hmm.